good evening today we have with us architect prasanna more and uh, divya jyoti prasanna architect prasanna more is an alumnus of cot akola maharashtra and divya dy patel college pune after graduation mr prasanna was associated with architect girish doshi for a good 12 years imbibing the essence of his practice in 2010 uh, architect prasanna founded studio madhushala and he was later joined by divya the practice at madhushala is seen as an opportunity to dream and play discover and explore to share and be inspired the studio responds to uh, the, the studio responds appropriately to the traditional and natural environment giving an expression to their vision yeah i guess probably we'll see uh, the same through the works of mr prasanna so we invite mr prasanna to be on the stage yeah good evening all uh, uh thank you masa for inviting me uh, to share our work among all this uh, wonderful and great people uh the we uh, i am not that habituated to present my work basically so i will take little time to get adjust with all you guys so please bear with me for that uh i just wanted to share this uh, quote by alvaro siza because uh, recently i was reading uh, his book and i thought this is quite uh, similar to my uh, working uh, philosophy where uh, like it's going with me quite well so i thought if i can share this it will for you it's more better to understand uh before starting the actual presentation of our work <laughs> i want to give uh, you a brief introduction about pma madhushala the values of pma madhushala are uh, constantly uh, continuously created on the equations of these three sources basically uh, one is nest that is suitable environment we believe second is guru uh, connect which is gurus like the uh, connection of gurus and third is uh, quest which is constant search uh, so uh the nest uh, uh it uh, when uh, i started my uh, practice from uh, 2010 when i came out from girish doshi's office uh, i wanted to be my uh, working place around him so that i can spend more time and uh, because of having less money fortunately uh, on collaborative level we started the studio called madhushala and uh, uh, with uh, uh, and uh, because of the less money how like uh, 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 in that uh, 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 effectively how can create our space that was very important for us so uh, as a madhushala we believe in a creating an environment suiting to our creative flow that aligns us with time and path in circumstances with uh, favorable surroundings projects and vision the experience become enriched and memorable uh, building and breaking such spaces after 5 uh, years had taught us a lot and now we shifted to our fourth place because every 5 year we are building that space uh, again we are breaking that and we are building new space so that's how uh, like uh, we made around four different uh, spaces in uh, the uh, uh, a kind of Uh, a side margin or the open space or the in old houses uh, the first space what we built uh, which is on 2010 to 14 so avinash was uh, with us that time he he is uh, he, he, he he like uh, he is a uh, part of that memory actually so madhu khat se gedti jaalo mein hala वितरण करती मधु साथी वाला बस आ पहुंचे दूर नहीं बस आ पहुंचे दूर नहीं कुछ 
चार कदम अब चलना है चहक रहे सुन पीने वाले महक रही ले मधुशाला चहक रहे सुन पीने वाले महक रही ले मधुशाला We are running now for PMA Madhushala. The connect uh, all our understanding which we get through uh, our journey and uh, through emotional connection might get stored in our subconscious mind. But to connect it with perfect time, I think we need Guru or the some kind of connection. And uh, I think we are blessed with that. These are two people, Girish Doshi and Vishnu Doshi, he was a structural consultant. They gave us a horse eye to understand uh, uh, the things behind whole process of our work. 3rd is quest. Uh, as we started getting little friendly with architecture, we realized uh, the whole uh, uh, process is it's like a pura brahmand hai and uh, the only medium to know it better could be constant search which we are calling here as a quest and this constant process helps to satisfy your impulse or urge and this constant process of quest uh, helps you to satisfy your impulse urge and uh, like every time joyfully and unusually and in this process of constant act, we realize architecture is nothing but the process of self-realization. On that basis, actually, we, we are working through whole uh, is an attempt to overview the work from our perspective of uh, uh, layering of various aspects in design process to create an interesting fabric of experiences eventually ends with series of uh, stories or stories within stories which can enrich the life in surrounding. So if I list down uh, the, uh, the, uh, those aspects which we are considering, those aspects could be different as per all, uh, uh, all of us, but uh, uh, if I list down those aspects, so uh, one is like location, which is contextual relevance, gradation, topography, condition, climatic response, uh, 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 cooperation, socio-cultural emotions, which is client's nature, like level of privacy, family structure, aspirations, dream of clients, uh, wish list, expectations, modulations, which is uh, permutation and combination as per structural requirement of the functions, configurations, which is like space arrangement, uh, circulations, visual and physical connections, uh, uh, articulation, which is uh, permeability of symbolic gestures, art, creation which is nature, celestation which uh, the connection with the parallel world we uh, generally uh, we need for the design process and habitation. So these are the point we were just uh, as an example we are trying to like uh, considering and uh, Uh, if these aspects in design, uh, we are considering these aspects in designs are independent, non-linear and per permeable. But, uh, but to conceive their existence in our world, sorry, but to conceive, we would need a light. I will go back, even though I am... So to conceive their existence in our uh, world, we need a light. A light construct the depth to establish the relations. We, we can say it's how magical light brings a life to it actually. The relation form with the connections with one another aspects and it appears like a complex woven fabric, layers and layers of many things. If uh, uh, in this journey of experiences, if you align yourself to certain points, which I am calling here trigger points, the whole complex fabric magically converts into interesting compositions of our understanding, which we might, uh, uh, which might be the geometrical sense of our subconscious mind. Every trigger points dominate the role of certain elements, aspects, 
and project it our own experiences, like his story basically. If you listen them carefully in a sequence, it can create a beautiful simply. So these arrangements I am considering like uh, the symphony in architecture, like we try to achieve basically. So in every our project, we, we try to incorporate these kind of variable aspects, formulate them and enjoy the stories we get during the course of action. So uh, here basically I am trying to share like 10 of our projects. So we, uh, how like we are formulating uh, the design aspects of that and uh, getting a lot of things to learn out of that 10 projects. So uh, first is like uh, if we want to segregate uh, those projects, like first three is a residential project. Then uh, 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 the next three is a project we got inspired from the geometry basically. So how we are incorporating the geometry aspect to achieve space quality and uh, uh, the structure of the uh, buildings. And uh, the, the next uh, three projects are uh, with different expressions basically like from the different part of uh, India. So first, uh, uh, So first project, first project is a mahak, that's my house. Uh, uh, so I, I was a client uh, and uh, I was doing after when I came out from Girish Doshi's office and uh, uh, the whole experimentation was what uh, I learned uh, within uh, like in, in those 13, 14 years uh, when I was working with him. Uh, the technology of Vidi Doshi and uh, uh, the kind of uh, uh, like expectation what I was having with my parents about the house. So, uh, so these, uh, uh, these kind of drawing basically uh, uh, we are just uh, uh, making after when we finishing the project to understand uh, uh, or to relate it with uh, the uh, 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 mythological era and to get uh, something new out of it. So Divya generally make this kind of drawing. So and uh, the the the, uh, the subject of the drawing is is to uh, is on the essence uh, of the whole process of that project with respect to the mythological story. So this basically is a Samudra Manthan which I was going through when I was making that drawing and uh, uh, there is a dog, uh, my dog, it's Koba and how he was uh, like important uh, feature when I was doing uh, the whole house basically. So uh, that crisis like uh, we are trying to show it uh, in this drawing. So. Uh, because uh, th th this was uh, uh, the house in urban context and it's related to we, me and which I was uh, understanding what I learned from uh, my gurus basically. So the material was uh, uh, the concrete block and uh, uh, how we can use that concrete block properly which I understood uh, while working there. So, uh, so that was the whole exercise we were doing. So generally we made the block on site. So these are the two uh, kind of block we generally use. One is hollow and one is uh, which is on your left hand side. And these are the process and the material we use generally for uh, the concrete block according to the strength and uh, the requirement we need uh, for kind of construction. So this is completely load bearing uh, construction. So we were using uh, a load bearing uh, kind of blocks here. And uh, to uh, okay, sorry. Yeah. So when we were designing uh, the the house, so we were thinking about uh, like how it could get start basically. So uh, so we we came with the module of the block, which is 200 mm, and then we consider that is the minimum module of the whole house and then we come with one module which is a habitable module that is one meter and from that habitable module we come with a unit module which is 2.2 by 2.2 so uh, uh, because of this we uh, because it's everything in module we cannot waste the single piece of block 
and uh, we can get the aesthetic of that block wall. That was the whole idea. And uh, then we thought, uh, let's consider the height is also 2.2 meter and uh, consider it as the uh, main part of the space and how we can fit uh, different spaces uh, in that uh, space. Like if I want to fit toilet in 2.2 meter by 2.2 meter, how I can fit that kitchen uh, and any other services. But when it was coming with respect to the habitable spaces like bedroom, living room, then by joining them, how uh, we can make those uh, spaces uh, and then what kind of distance should be in between two blocks. So we consider as a one meter distance between two blocks. So there are 2.2 uh, .2 meter block, then one meter distance and again 2.2 .2 meter block. So everything was in uh, unit basically. So by joining them horizontally and by joining them vertically, how can we create an interesting uh, connection spaces and we can use for that particular uses. Like if it's a staircases, by putting them on each other, it becomes a staircase. Uh, if there are staggered, then you get a double height. So all those kind of uh, exercise uh, we were thinking. And when we took it into our uh, uh, like design, so whole design happened in that fashion. Like there are six unit placed at the distance of one meter and uh, the LO unit is like a staircase, uh, the light green is like a services for toilet and that becomes uh, like uh, that eventually uh, converted into the house. So you can see the exposed uh, concrete block and uh, the 2.2 meter volume placed at the distance of one meter. So we want to carry that aesthetics also from outside and use the uh, aesthetics of the block uh, in puristic form. So that's a simple plan like 2.2 uh, .2 meter placed at the distance of uh, 1 meter. This is a ground floor plan which is for uh, the guest. Uh, the upper floor plan is for my parents. Then it's a kind of hobby space for TV, TV room, library and some hobby spaces. And the topmost portion uh, was uh, my floor like one room, one bedroom. So that is how uh, it was uh, happened like the lowermost portion is a, a, a guest space, uh, my parents' space, hobby space and my space. And now it got interconnected with each other when we were playing with that primarily model. This is another uh, section where we use uh, railing as a seating and small terraces, the whole uh, light and ventilation system and how it all got uh, interconnected. It's a very small house, 6 meter by 9 meter footprint and uh, about 3 uh, bedroom uh, like with living kitchen, dining uh, and home theatre, library and 2 terraces. So uh, like to uh, get the feel of the project, I am thinking uh, like we, we were trying to, uh, we were thinking like I will uh, explain you uh, the project first and then I will uh, show you the images when I will not uh, disturb like while watching the images. So this is a second house uh, which is Gadi. Uh, this drawing is uh, depicting uh, the Ardha Naranarishwar, uh, the relationship between two materials like how they are uh, coming together close and how they are playing uh, together. So that is uh, the uh, like uh, the, 
the whole like that's how we were um, uh, thinking about uh, that house when we were doing that drawing this house is for uh, the uh, joint family which is uh, in a suburb of uh, pune which is talegao and uh, they were from uh, sardar family and they they were expecting the house with that form and they came up and we came up with many form of the house which might suitable for them and uh, and uh, because they were having uh, their traditional house in the form of wada uh, they wanted that kind of uh, space only basically and uh, uh, and uh, they, they, uh, when they come to us they were thinking like it should be like two houses but then we convinced them to make one house for the joint family and uh, and uh, and um, uh, so so and uh, when they want they can uh, do the another house in uh, the uh, re remaining plot so they got convinced but their main uh, problem was uh, they, they wanted a security uh, for the whole house because that was little in uh, little in outskirts so we gave them a proposal of whole submerged house which is like uh, the stepwell kind of house but that was too tangent for them and then eventually we uh, came in relation with the form of small fortress traditional fortress where we call in maharashtra gadi and they got quite convinced with that concept and eventually then we started making on that so when we were studying about the gadi form we uh, trying to analyze the uh, the important aspects in gadi like how what are the features uh, uh, aesthetically call that gadi and what are the Uh, features uh, with respect to planning or for what that time perspective uh, so it a it's a long uh, description i think we don't uh, go into that but uh, we try to uh, formulate some aspects from gadi like related to aesthetics related to planning and then we uh, uh, in, uh, 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 we uh, put those all aspect into the design process and uh, we were like uh, and uh, at the same time we were thinking that house should be for uh, 20th century also so that it it should be uh, with respect to the modern uh, amenity so uh, how like we can uh, take the inspiration from uh, the uh, traditional uh, building and how we can uh, put it in a modern form that was the whole exercise we were doing so again like uh, the inner structure was in uh, concrete block so it comes with a proportion of 200 mm then we finalize one uh, module uh, and then we try to incorporate uh, the uh, spaces which required for the house and uh, we just uh, uh, to get some kind of uh, spatial uh, uh, experience Uh, we try to like uh, put it in various levels like uh, how the whole things can work with respect to that so uh, we just arranged those module in a uh, uh, classified form and we got one central space uh, and we thought if we can uh, use that central space to connect vertically uh, then we can place uh, those uh, 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 habitable spaces around it and uh, it can be a good form at every level at the interval of how staircase runs basically so uh, we just break down the staircase scenario we just uh, take it to the some uh, like grid system and uh, at every certain level if we can just place those spaces so that that can be like uh, uh, we will get the level also and we will climb slowly to every level that was the idea and by just uh, 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 like uh, uh, and uh, if we uh, and and place and uh, considering it as of a volume we will get the whole core inside and uh, just wrapping it uh, uh, with uh, with the wall on the concept of gadi uh, uh, we can create a beautiful courtyard on the four side and uh, the whole house uh, uh, that uh, that will act as a climatic screen uh, even for uh, security aspect and the privacy aspects also and then how uh, we can formulate that 
so that's how uh, uh, like we uh, like we reach to this level and then so this is a site plan like uh, the 20000 square feet plot we built only on 10000 square feet plot and we left 10000 square feet plot for kitchen gardening or there for future expansion so that's how it's setting on the plot it's 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 as per vastu so you will uh, uh, see like the entry from uh, north side and uh, whole arrangement is as per vastu while uh, making on the facade like the screen uh, which is a fortified screen uh, like uh, we were just uh, uh, thinking like how we can articulate that so we just taper it uh, to make it more uh, optically sound or with the reference of uh, gadi also and uh, then we incorporate uh, the, the bottom layer with the stone so that we can relate two material together and he wanted uh, the opening on the upper level because he was thinking it, it will be quite close uh, for the whole house so we have to find out some kind of arrangement where when he wants to open like any uh, side he could open that so we just we were like trying uh, uh, the some kind of geometrical system and then we eventually end up with this kind of aesthetics which uh, eventually form the complete uh, the facade of uh, of that gadi which which were impress, uh, which were uh, representing that time but with a modern context so you can see north west south and east and how uh, it got layered uh, so uh, the, the uh, i think uh, even the band width of the band is also as per grid like uh, whatever the minimum size uh, we got uh, from the stone so we formulate that uh, size and we met the vertical grid and which eventually we uh, place in the uh, in the proportion of 200 mm so everything is sink, uh, like uh, the, every horizontal dimension was sinking with the main uh, uh, level of the house and uh, th these are the feature like how uh, we were trying to incorporate from the old gadi to the new modern uh, facade like this detail how the fenestration was and at the same time uh, the facade shouldn't be only facade how uh, it can be a part of the home so how uh, those material are coming inside the courtyard or in the house so you can see like it, it becomes a staircase or a seat or maybe Tulsi Rundavan uh, for uh, every court or every part of the house. So, so this is 60 feet by 60 feet uh, square and uh, this is the lower, lower level plan I think we will go here. So that is the main entry and uh, this is uh, the north here. So this is east and uh, so you can see like uh, uh, because we all know like how vastu works so you can easily understand how uh, what are like this uh, this is bedroom or kitchen and all the four courtyards at four side uh, so you you climb by four feet so all this space is uh, the, the the living area then living area has two courtyard like uh, one is the entry courtyard one is a wind courtyard and uh, the whole house is uh, at multiple levels so uh, as you go down you got go down to one bedroom here which is under this uh, bedroom and uh, as you come four feet up like 1.2 meter up you come to the, uh, the kitchen dining area and uh, and 0.62 feet up you come to another bedroom level so that four feet four feet and two feet you get 10 feet height to the every bedroom and uh, uh, that st st staircase is uh, like the connection of every of these spaces as you go up. This is upper level plan with uh, two bedroom here and this is a family room. This is staggered on this side and you get a double height here from family room to dining room. And then you can see the main entry also from family room here and living has a double height like this is small study here, so from study you can look down to the living room. 
this is terrace, this is the section. So this is main entry and that's a connection between family room to uh, entry and dining space to entry. And that's a back uh, courtyard, like kitchen courtyard and this is a front courtyard. So you, you get uh, 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 like uh, this is uh, like uh, uh, the kind of enclosed garden of every corner which creates the microclimate inside and uh, which is connected to your main space. So this main space is always in a buffer like. And that's how that ventilation system works. We, we uh, convince them not to put air condition to the whole house and uh, worked out all this ventilation system which we all know basically. So all this venture effect and how that things work. The cooling tower, if they want more cool so they can uh, put cooler here and they can take a cool wind inside. So right now without any uh, cooling system in summer they can get 7 to 8 degrees Celsius difference inside the house. So this will uh, help you to understand how the construction happened on site like the inside whole structure is in concrete block with filler slab uh, and it's in proper grade. So this is all that structure which is inside. We use ferro cement in uh, over at tanks, uh, staircase and some uh, part of kunda and uh, this is the outer shell which is, uh, so whole structure is load bearing, even the shell is also load bearing. And how he was like uh, 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 casing the whole house and creating the uh, four coat at for the house. So all these arches are load bearing, so there is no, uh, and uh, th this, whenever they want more openings on this side, they can open this wall from here and they can get a big opening on every corner. That is the entrance of the house, how, uh, uh, like, uh, it, it's in section, like you, you go up and we try to put a door like a fort. Which, which will fall down and it becomes a bridge over the water body but for them it was not that convincing so we finally made a normal door and uh, and this is like an entry we, we keep separate uh, with, the, with some gazebo here so uh, their mother can sit here and they can look after whole kitchen garden from that space so that's a uh, entry of the house and uh, like the function of the four courtyard, like how they are uh, creating an environment for the whole house and how they are functioning with respect to the uh, respective spaces uh, around that courtyard. So like Osri means uh, the front courtyard uh, where the entry is and there is a small space on top. You go up and you can play or chit chat and that is the entry. That's a Tulsi like a kitchen courtyard where uh, they can cook outside. This is wind one courtyard which is uh, from the west side and that is from the south. This is a main bedroom courtyard. So we put uh, this uh, mist uh, cooling system on top. So all this courtyard uh, um, are in a proper uh, um, uh, humidifier level so that that can maintain the temperature here and when the breeze will come from outside it get cool and you get that cooling effect inside that is the entry courtyard bedroom courtyard and two more courtyards so how uh, they look basically so that so this was a main uh, central courtyard which was acting like uh, the main wind scoop basically so uh, this, this was a most important courtyard to take out the uh, hot wind from uh, the house and uh, uh, so we wanted to that uh, uh, we wanted to create that quota that experiential also so uh, that's how uh, you can see in animation like 
So there is a turbo ventilator on top. So the whole air from the house coming from used air coming from all the spaces comes here, goes up, and uh, so all passive ventilation uh, happens because of this uh, unit basically. So the mat uh, basically material used in the whole house is uh, 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 concrete block, brick stone, thick wood and IPS floor and lime plaster for the wall. So th uh, those two houses were from the uh, like uh, uh, urban region, like where uh, 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 the, the forces of uh, urban lifestyle uh, comes. So we are doing one more initiative where we are just finding the projects from surrounding villages, and uh, we are not uh, 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 keeping that more commercially, like. Uh, Either we are doing pro bono or like with, with very less fee or maybe on barter system. And uh, we are just convincing people and uh, doing a lot of small houses just uh, like uh, for our interest and to make little change around those villages. Uh, so, uh, so in this map you can see like uh, over these many places we were trying. So some of them are like conceptually, some of them are ongoing and some of them are completed. And these are the all houses which are uh, like uh, in small, small villages, which is around Pune, maybe Nagar or maybe Solapur in, the, in, in that area. Not exactly in town, but in small town around those, uh, small villages around those town. So th this house uh, is, is, is fall into that segment actually, because uh, 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 when we were designing this house, so uh, we were not uh, thinking about as a conventional uh, ur urban house. Uh, so uh, so we, we are calling this as a padvi house. Padvi means it's a kind of uh, veranda. So whole uh, conceptualization, the conceptualization of the house is like a veranda. And uh, uh, this uh, uh, the drawing uh, uh, it's uh, depicting the Akshay Patra is like one element uh, like uh, maybe Draupadi which is connecting the five important uh, uh, element or the character of the houses. So that is the main uh, the connecting feature uh, which is connecting all these five uh, element. So so uh, the client was friend of mine and uh, he was doing uh, the social work in that uh, one village area. They were working for uh, the uh, ch children for sugarcane industry uh, for their education actually. And he wanted to shift from uh, like his uh, hometown to the village. And uh, when I came to know about that, I just convinced him like why you can't make the house so that uh, uh, it will be more uh, like uh, you can afford because that will be not that expensive. 
and on that thing he got convinced. So he found one plot uh, there, which is here actually. So which was in the kind of society. Uh, so this is uh, near Baramati, like about 200 kilometers from Pune. And uh, the name of the village is Vagarwadi. And we told him like uh, the, the kind of plot you found is it's, it's like a same situation where uh, like urban settlements are. Why you can't go little out and see something which is uh, which can give you more freedom for your house. So that's how we select uh, this plot which is on a slope. So this is a forest line here and uh, uh, and on the same like this is uh, uh, the amount uh, uh, on, on what like he, he has got 3000 square foot plot in the same amount he got here 8000 square foot plot. So uh, that's how uh, he, he was also happy and we was also happy because we got a bigger plot with a very good uh, context and little outside. So uh, uh, his friend also came together and they also like uh, wanted to buy some place around him and then we thought why we can't make the community housing because uh, if all like minded people are coming together and if we can do the community housing so they, they like the idea but eventually it's not happened so we only uh, made his house. So this is a whole plot and uh, that's the only plot uh, where we built basically and it was in a continuous process till here that, that the space we left for parking and that is for their common activity. So this is a current house uh, image where the house is here and with whole site, surrounding site. And we were thinking for inspiration also because that time uh, we were uh, traveling uh, to Aurangabad area uh, in uh, Ajanta caves and all. So we suddenly uh, uh, came in contact with uh, this Jogeshwari cave which is not in the campus of uh, Elora campus but this is little out in outskirts and uh, the image of that caves actually fits so strongly in our mind. So we were actually thinking why we can't do something uh, in this idea and fortunately at the same time we got uh, this piece of land where the situation was al almost same like there is a river or the, uh, uh, the water channel flows through the cave and the caves, were around, the caves are around the water channels and interesting spaces like you, you found around that water channel. So uh, here we were imagining because uh, on the side we found a dry channel here. I will show you that in the animation. So this is a Jogeshwari cave, uh, cave image and this is the thing what we were trying to uh, create basically. So this is like a uh, plot and we imagine there was a dry stream but we imagine there is a stream running uh, from the piece of land and then we just built a dam here and uh, we find a module like which we can accommodate all these spaces and by just placing them over the channel uh, with uh, the kind of material because we were, we were using here stone because uh, we found a uh, lot of stone abundant near to this site so we were just uh, thinking to use that stone and with that scale we use thickness and everything and uh, because it's on slope creating uh, by creating a uh, retaining wall you get various levels and uh, then you can make a whole plan basically so as you like this is the entry of the house so you come at the one level by going uh, four feet down you come to the living room this is the one module which the same module is here uh, at the same level there is a bedroom if you go like two feet up it's a kitchen uh, dining space four feet up it's a uh, master bedroom four feet up it's a uh, children bedroom so that's how it's a three bedroom house which runs uh, with the slope of the whole uh, context you can uh, I think uh, it's more easy to understand
So whole design process was happening uh, in uh, two minds basically, one uh, in subconscious mind where we were trying to connect this whole house with that Chogeshwari uh, caves and other with the uh, context which, is, uh, which was there with their practical need. So this is the section which is uh, uh, going uh, like the existing contour and this is how the spaces are. This is the children bedroom, kitchen space and the living space and that is that uh, water body which we made a dam here and uh, there is a space around this. So whole, uh, the, the, the material palette is uh, the basalt stone which we got uh, locally from there, teak wood and IPS floor. So now we are uh, entering into another segment of design process where we are uh, trying to uh, get connect with the geometrical understanding from nature or from the modern context and trying to incorporate uh, in our uh, uh, projects. So this is the small, uh, 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 the, uh, the, this is a one unit of a kind of tree house for the resort where uh, we just gave uh, like one idea where you can make one unit like this and if you can copy that image, uh, that, um, uh, that unit, so whole resort can happen. So that's a, uh, a kind of tree house which we uh, try, um, which we try to uh, get the idea from uh, tetrahedron concept like uh, by joining uh, three hexagon uh, a kind of space you will get inside and how you can use that space uh, as a small uh, cottage room.
So it's a plan here. This is hexagon, one pure hexagon. Uh, there's a toilet, uh, like uh, there's a bathing area, WC and basin here. There's a jacuzzi here. And this, if you go down by two feet, there's a living area. And if you go up, you will get this bed, double light bed area. The small uh, forest cottage you can place anywhere. That's a diagram where you can see easily. And then how like your office, a lot of people are using that in a different manner. This is an interior project we did for one stone showroom and uh, the idea is like they should get more display which, th which is interchangeable, they can change the display and it should be in one module. So the whole idea of that showroom came with that modular formation with, with the geometry because we were working that geometry for one more building which, which I am going to show to you here afterwards. And, uh, while developing that geometry, we realize that same uh, principle, uh, we, if we can use here, so it can uh, uh, like come in, uh, it can come in a very different manner. So that's a plan of the showroom, which is 2,000 square feet uh, showroom on uh, in in Pune on FC Road, and everything is on that hexagonal triangular uh, geometrical system. So that's a revolving panel. Uh, it's like a whole showroom is like a maze. So by just revolving them on centrally or uh, like on the edge, you can create various uh, uh, like access uh, to go through that showroom. And everything is because everything is on uh, geometrical grid. Uh, it it gives you that homogeneous uh, sense uh, just because of the geometry. Like we there is nothing like. We thought basically whatever the outcome came is just we were playing with that geometry. So that's how it's a making of that uh, whole uh, showroom. So whole uh, that panel hung from top. So that main floral is a main support which is hanging whole grid from top and hold that panel from top. And this is just in uh, 12 mm pipe, uh, like hollow pipe, which is holding that whole structure there. And that's how it looks when it got completed. So you can change this floor, this uh, all that panel.
This is 12 fold geometry system. We were working for one temple structure and then we just use it here. You can see like how. This is a small darga we were doing in uh, Barshi region like Sultan Baba Darga in Solapur district in Maharashtra. This was uh, uh, a kind of uh, uh, sponsored by uh, the whole uh, uh, like uh, the cost of that darga sponsored by one person only like uh, who wanted to build for uh, his mother wish and uh, that's how he came like just uh, uh, to, uh, with, with some expectation of drawing and then we, uh, we, uh, we just negotiate with him to take it to this level actually. It's a plan, it's so, so main entry is from here, that's a road and uh, there is a darga here, that's a small uh, 35 feet by 35 feet cube and then we added one small uh, OPD center like from outside doctor can come and they can use this space uh, 
uh, for the villagers uh, to to check up uh, for, for every month check up so it's in like uh, to total is load bearing and how all elements of the load load bearing come together and make the whole darga and we were just understanding the persian system of doing uh, uh, dome and how the with the help of squinches they converted like uh, from hexagon to the circle like so uh, so with that understanding uh, we just tried here uh, on a smaller scale basically so these are uh, the sequence of the arches from one end to the other end of the hexagon by leaving one uh, corner and that's how you can make uh, more uh, the uh, the this uh, the, the form near to circle on the top so that's like making a, a series of arches you are getting more close to dome with the squinches which is happening here this is a clubhouse we did uh, for one uh, residential scheme in pune uh, and uh, we put one condition like uh, we will do as per our wish then only we can enter here and then he got ready because uh, uh, he wanted to like sell his flat uh, properly in that region because uh, he thought because of clubhouse only he can sell maximum office flats and we uh, got that advantage and then uh, uh, we we got this project also on that basis so that is uh, the uh, drawing of the cosmic turtle uh, where a whole uh, uh, world is uh, saved by uh, the turtle uh, so that is the story like and there is a shesh shai nag on top so that's how like the client was thinking like this uh, project will save him to sell his apartments that's a whole uh, 10000 square foot uh, plot we got for the very odd shape plot as a open space and these were the uh, th these were the requirements like uh, we were trying to uh like use and design like we were telling him like this all things should be uh, in his uh, uh, that uh, clubhouse then only it will be more useful for the people who are living there because uh, the activities like pool and because that is all uh, 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 which is a low cost project and uh, like for one and two bhk and to provide uh, the uh, Uh, swimming pool and uh, other uh, facilities was not uh, that advisable that we cancelled he was expecting that and uh, that's how like the, uh, this is the whole site uh, all residential block we got this plot and then uh, we were just thinking how to place uh, uh, how to design this whole uh, uh, open area because keeping that open area was very important uh because this is this whole society is in suburb so density is like uh, very high here so all buildings are like quite close to each other so that is only like a oasis in the project so that's why we are also naming like oasis here so we thought by just keeping all activities in the site they can get bigger uh, open ground in the center and that is more um, uh, like uh, uh, usable for all tenants here who will come and stay and then we just add a small library and the multi purpose hall uh, the children play area and the temple which he already got on site so that's a multi purpose hall it's a main road here and here 
we fit the temple here and uh, that's a children play area uh, he has a very good uh, like skill uh, brick mason so we thought let's build everything in brick because uh, then it will be more uh, economic economical for him that's a upper plan where uh, there's a small library and small amphitheater for the people So uh, that is the main hall. By we just want to subdue like that whole form uh, from the main campus. When anybody like whoever will come and enter the campus, they shouldn't see this uh, like uh, multi-purpose hall first at the glance because it's a quite uh, high ground uh, parking plus 12 or 13 buildings were adjoining here. So we wanted to uh, take it little down from the main level. So that whenever they will come, uh, they will come down from that space to this, uh, like in the open area, they will get that proper scale. You can, I think, you can see it here. Right? So those are the uh, big buildings you can see in the back. And then uh, to make that. Uh, like wall, uh, we were again looking for some uh, geometrical understanding which can hold because that's only the 9 inch wall at the distance of uh, 7.2 meter and which is holding like that slab also. If I am doing it in uh, 9 inch then it should be that strong. So we are looking for some kind of form which can hold that whole structure basically. So these two walls were very important for us because that is like the wall for the background for all that open space uh, which is like uh, the important aspect for the client and, uh, I, and, and how that wall can hold uh, the slab and the whole roof of that uh, multipurpose hall. So we made a lot of drawings for it and how like, uh, so this is all uh, like uh, geometrical uh, uh, understanding we were using with all that uh, Fibonacci system and all, I will show you that in later. Uh, but these are the drawings we were doing, like this is all connections where they can stop while uh, constructing this wall. And we made the every layer drawing, like how every layer of brick will change slowly and come to one level, like here. And at the two point, what like uh, by just, uh, this is all every, uh, you can see here the brick layers, like every layer we count and uh, by, pla by placing the thread, they can get that uh, uh, level of the brick when they will lay the layer of the brick. So this, this is whole set of drawing of every layer of this whole wall. And then these arches will uh, like uh, got incorporated in that level only. And then the elements like we added like a seat here or Maybe the jali which we used. So that's how the composition of wall happened. 
and you can see the construction images like how it uh, it's getting built there on site and the detail of uh, the roof i think uh, it's not that important and how we like um, uh, design the children play area in in bricks only everything like uh, whatever the bricks we got we made out of that all this different levels they can play they can hide here actually there is a hiding place which they can go down from here they can go up and then that's all so door details because they were doing uh, the um, uh, apartment scheme uh, uh, they were having lot of salvage of steel and we were just utilizing that salvage in every of our uh, elements of that building So this is a ashram we are doing uh, near Shanti Niketan uh, for Parvati Baul. Baul. Parvati Baul is a singer, singer from Baul tradition. This project we are doing with Arthur Studio, like Saurabh Malpani. He is a very good friend. So we both are doing that project. Uh, 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 so this is the site here. So because it's in uh, uh, West Bengal. there is a uh, the soil has uh, like uh, that, that can store a water like uh, permeability of the soil is very less so uh, so everywhere you can find this pond and she got a place where the one pond is here and uh, the whole campus uh, we designed uh, around that pond you can see some of the images of local santhali villages like there is a tribe called santhali so you can see some of the villages of that and uh, this is about the baul tradition like from uh, a generation they are singing and spreading the message to the society uh, and it's uh, uh, they uh, they are quite quite spiritually connected uh, to whole their process actually so this is the section of the site this is a site plan so uh, this is a main road and that's a entry so now this all got changed because uh, she got uh, uh, like uh, more area many more area on this side uh, so we are changing the entry and everything but this is a primary uh, uh, we completed only this three buildings like this her house we call it bina kutir this is the main performing uh, space we call it kalari and that is the guest house narayani kutir rest uh, will now we will change that and that small temple here not as big but a small temple so uh, considering the context and uh, the scenario in the village Uh, and the kind of material we uh, procured the size of the brick and everything is different there because you get 5 inch by 10 inch by 4 inch size brick there so all wall and everything came with that proportion so we were just uh, uh, like uh, analyzing that how what is the thickness what should be the thickness of wall and then how it could reflect uh, you know all uh, build build form like the same grid 
which is coming from the material which we are using even in section also in layer also so this is a site plan and uh, uh, just to give uh, more uh, like fluid effect to the whole site plan we place it into two different grid uh, the grid is of 450 mm which eventually like 900 mm is the main habitable grid and uh, these three buildings were on the court this is a coordinate direction grid and this is non this is at a distance of 30 degree so by just placing them whole campus will give you the feel of that village like random like uh, we just place building randomly around uh, that pond that was a little uh, idea we were just uh, thinking that's a plan of her house living area one bedroom kitchen and one uh, color like uh, painting space for her upper floor plan like her space it's a section like her bedroom uh, guest bedroom main living room kind of thing and her studio So uh, the cost was the cost constant was like uh, the primarily uh, important. So we were just finding uh, the different technique where we can save the cost in foundation and in superstructure and all. So we just use uh, brick with mud. So whole uh, structure is with brick and mud. And uh, in uh, so it's a uh, uh, actually. Uh, uh, climate wise it's quite harsh area with respect to rain so most of the time uh, the, the corner from where uh, the wind is flowing what affected if it's a pure mud building so we just corner the building with the bricks and uh, enforce the building with the bricks in the corner and we use about 60-65% uh, of mud in whole uh, construction process with uh, some kind of aesthetical sense from one module like we took one module as a firma and that we repeated in whole uh, 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 whole construction so that's how we were making the mud blocks it's very simple technique and then after building the brick wall we just used here all mud uh, this adobe wall and with a mud plaster then technique of slab that we use jackage because it should be more economical in the roof we got local uh, timber here uh, of uh, uh, khajur tree and uh, the palm tree so that is quite popular so we use that only here for the roof and with the local technique it's from inside And two more building like this calorie space, performing space and uh, the uh, four bedroom guest house space. So construction technology wise all are, all are there, uh, on, on the same uh, uh, concept. So that's a roof, this is uh, 60 feet uh, uh, span uh, color space and this is a roof in timber so you can see the ceiling here with some kind of special effect I think you can see it here properly that's a
This is a housing project uh, we were doing uh, near Pune and uh, this is very close to us right now because just few days back uh, it got cancelled because of uh, uh, the differences in their partnership and we were working for one year on that project and uh, suddenly we cannot go through that whole process of design so I thought let, uh, if I can share this this is little longer I think we have time now. So it's a Dehu suburb, like, uh, uh, so uh, now after, uh, like, uh, proper, um, uh, uh, properly packed uh, in Pune city, a lot of suburbs are getting developed. So Dehu is like another hub for IT, like one, the first IT developed near Dehu, and because of this, uh, that area uh, got the uh, attention of all developers in Pune. Otherwise, uh, it's a religious town and uh, it's a, it was a very beautiful town. So this was a site uh, of the whole campus and uh, this was a program they were thinking uh, for the uh, housing and they approached to us to design or to take any of this and uh, then uh, we can work on more, that was their idea. So, uh, so we selected this site because this was having good connection with uh, the river. This is the Indraini river and it was anyway dividing into uh, separately into the main, their campus because of this main road. So this was about 11.2 acre facing towards north up here and this was the east where the Indrani river was and the main entry was for the site was from this side and this was uh, like how the, how the people were entering and this is all whole site was having hospital school and everything in their program so uh, this this is a kind of uh, the bigger project we were like handling and uh, we were just thinking like how the small ideas we can uh, interpret in a bigger campus. Uh, so, uh, although we are uh, working on a bigger campus, but that was for the special, uh, uh, that was for the different program, not for housing actually. So, this this was the biggest housing we were doing that uh, 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 during that time. So, uh, we were just analyzing like how the site uh, context like. Uh, 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 giving back to us like so the whole site was dividing into three mount because of this two stream and the stream were flowing through the river so that was the kind of uh, uh, existing site scenario was but they were not uh, uh, like uh, uh, caring for those streams and everything because for them this was like the whole piece of land but we were just like telling them this is very important character so by using that and by considering your program, we can design something nice. So these were the three mounts and existing mounts and uh, this is a river. And uh, so while designing, we were finding the option about orientation also, like which could be the better orientation option. Because on the back side of uh, this side, there was a huge forest. So it's like a, uh, 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 not exactly the forest, but the uh, forest for uh, forest for the villagers basically. And uh, so either we can uh, face our building on this side or we can face the building on that side. So that's how we were studying like how the orientation possibilities should be. And then we thought to create the campus field, if we can just uh, step down the building, like this in, inside the campus rather than just looking the building outside uh, can give you the real uh, campus feel. So eventually we uh, convinced them to like we can do some, something like that. And then we were studying uh, various uh, like studies like how uh, on slope or near water whole uh, settlements happened. We studied many uh, Moises building also with respect to that because he did a lot of uh, housing uh, 
with that context in Pune as well. So first thing like we were uh, uh, like uh, uh, did is like we, we tell them like we will do the bond here and then we can uh, do a water body here and uh, that becomes a very uh, landscape feature for the whole uh, housing at the same time it will create a barrier uh, from the main road like it will give some kind of buffer from the main, main road. So we did in the first year, uh, like we did a bond year and then we found that big piece of water on the site. Then we add uh, the uh, green uh, like garden along that water so that we get a more buffer from that main road uh, along that water reservoir. And then uh, we add this uh, ghat also on the uh, river side. So that uh, anybody from this side can go through the green park and reach to the river. So that was a kind of uh, 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 possibility we were thinking for every people. And then by doing this, we we got uh, the whole construction area. And uh, when we were uh, thinking, uh, when we were thinking back with their requirement, like how they wanted. Uh, like uh, the units like they are uh, uh, with, with respect to apartment or with respect to twin bungalows in their vocabulary. So we were just analyzing this also like how we can give them with a kind of uh, 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 solution we are giving, giving them for the whole housing. So uh, in, in their existing uh, uh, design they were uh, putting one big tower near the river so that they can accommodate all that area in that tower. That was their idea. And then this is like small scale building, like quadruplex, that was their terms basically. And uh, so before starting the design process, we were thinking about what is like house for us, like uh, and how people dream about that or how developers think about this. So uh, we uh, channelize into like this uh, trilogy of space, like if uh, I'm talking about my house and it should have an enclosed space, semi-open space and open space. This is, this is what we learned, like it, this is a basic learning we got uh, when we were doing architecture. And then how we can transform that three uh, spaces into whole campus with uh, uh, enclosed, semi-open and open with respect to the activity. So that was about uh, the, uh, like the differences we were taking and then how that we can incorporate in uh, our building. So we just took one uh, like uh, apartment or maybe the row house and uh, how we can uh, uh, use that three spaces uh, in, in that uh, row house or th that uh, the apartment we are designing. So this is a kind of uh, like uh, block we got by just uh, putting like open space, semi-open space or enclosed space like a bedroom, living or veranda or backyard or front yard and uh, then how we can play with that. So the idea was if you can create uh, like more and more option on uh, one grid or, or like one module, uh, then uh, they will get more flexibility uh, with respect to selling. Like uh, on uh, on one plinth, if they will have six seven option, so uh, they they will get more advantage with respect to selling. Or people will will get their choice uh, to uh, get their apartment. So we just convert up into uh, the various spaces, like how that one module, uh, like uh, every spaces can enter into that module. And by just arranging them, so by just playing with that uh, module, how we can get by placing with proper uh, justification, we can get the various options. So that's how we were just, uh, uh, we just did the various option of every, every unit uh, so for uh, the kind of eco villa what we are calling the uh, low cost villa we got about uh, 7 to 10 uh, options 
and uh, for apartment also we were thinking on the same line but because uh, it was working on different uh, like on one platform so but we were just trying to uh, analyzing like how we can incorporate these three spaces and then we can uh, uh, So if that is my one apartment with two terraces or open spaces, how I can formulate uh, the whole uh, options in apartment? So, so by getting that uh, uh, like study with, uh, on every unit, we then come to the master plan uh, level again. And then we were designing about uh, the uh, landscaping aspect, like what things can be incorporated in whole green park and the uh, water park and even this burn garden. So uh, while designing the main buildings, uh, we realize if there is one uh, community link, which is like one link which can connect from inside the building, from that end to this end, will be more interesting. Uh, people will have two, three different choice to, to reach the level. So we just add one community link in between the building. And we were thinking about the orientation of the building, how it should be like, whether it should be towards river or to, to, towards that direction. And we thought if everybody will get the view of river, it will be nice. So we just uh, uh, tilt the whole building on the river side. and place whole uh, the built mass like that towards the riverside and eventually we got the whole master plan like how we will uh, like this is all villas and this is all apartments here this is uh, again villas of different style and apartment here and this is a premium villas like where uh, uh, more bedroom villas Again, like in, uh, so we like Mount 1, Mount 1 and Mount 2, we, we were just uh, utilizing that uh, uh, the uh, contextual references and we were keeping that uh, streams which was uh, on site. And that's how uh, we uh, achieve on the section, like on the back we just added the FSI where uh, like uh, uh, to satisfy the client's need and it was just going down towards water uh, towards that landscape area. This is like the existing contour line we were trying to like uh, be on that line also with a uh, common parking for every unit. At the same time, how we will get community spaces at every level because uh, this is like a south level that I'll explain to you later and uh, this whole service mass, how like uh, that can use in uh, different manner for the community. So now it's about development of individual uh, uh, that mount M1, M2 and M3. So th this is uh, the M3 uh, mount because uh, it is little uh, distance from the main river and the main campus. Though uh, whatever like area or, or we wanted to consume, we wanted to consume in this uh, 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 built mass because uh, from here you can see uh, all the things and which will not uh, uh, like uh, uh, block uh, the view of the backside uh, apartment. So we were formulating like uh, uh, the units also like if I am placing this apartment and just tilting it uh, uh, with, with the axis with the same structural grid 
it, it can be, uh, I will get uh, open spaces for every apartment. And by just placing them with service core and uh, community corridor, with different uh, multiple uh, options of the units, we can get whole build form and eventually it can convert into like this. So this is about uh, that mount uh, one, like how the whole building eventually with uh, that green park, how it's uh, uh, working and how the whole terraces were happening. So everyone will, will get the privacy towards uh, river or water side and uh, whole like the back side will get the proper view. So as you go down, every apartment will get the view of the river. And uh, the connecting spaces at the lower level. This is the south side. We were thinking to use a solar panel on the wall. Uh, just as a barrier and to rather than on terrace. So this is about mount two like so there we were thinking to place apartment of single story and slowly if we can convert because uh, in apartment design we try to incorporate if somebody wants uh, a duple in the apartment unit they can get the duple also. So uh, but uh, with client perspective, they wanted that separate. So we just did separate, but it's on the same uh, unit. That's a section. So this is all a duple apartment with uh, the community space they got here in between. And, and uh, this is the uh, uh, villas, which is so that's how this also uh, got formulated, like all do play with the same uh, aesthetical philosophy of the apartment with different options. We can choose, I mean purple is different option, so different options in their uh, layout. And it, eventually it will come like this. That's a clubhouse uh, area, this small short film. This is the same presentation we did for the client and that's the same presentation I'm showing you here. So that's why that is so melodramatic with butterflies and all but it's the building is quite simple. And the mount uh, three is about the premium villas. Uh, there are about 810 villas and uh, the, the same community link coming from the Mount 2 which will join here and then it will go to the river or it can flow to the green park and it can go to the river.
this is a last project uh, which we did one resort it's it's a very old project by us but uh, it's quite close to our heart so that's why i'm showing it to you i will just run it quickly because it's a big presentation again so it's same shish uh, shayun ark with respect to the characterization of the wall we did here actually this is about whole story because uh, the kind of uh, work process has happened on the site uh, which is quite resembling with this story uh, our relation with client and the time we use there so that's a site uh, from main highway bombay pune highway it's very inside along the lake that's a uh, whole site plan we just uh, did the site plan with respect to water conservation like we did one big lagoon on the top and at the bottom so that uh, the water can percolate throughout the site and if by chance like they can uh, connect the lower and upper thing so night time the water from here can flow through turbines at the lower tank and they get the electricity and day time through solar solar pump they can take the water back to the upper tank so that was the kind of idea it's not happened but we were just thinking on that and how uh, the sewage uh, treatment of whole site and uh, farming and everything we did on there so eventually we got this much of area for resort with this big lagoon that is this with the existing contour and uh, because that's a first big project so uh, we were just thinking about uh, the space handling because we were not knowing how to handle this 6 acre in one go so we just divide into uh, two segment one is private and one is public so all uh, day uh, tourists can come in that area and uh, the public who will going to stay will will uh, uh, will come to this area and then again seven different wall with some kind of characterization with respect to coordinates and some connections on site we got so that we got uh, the proper zoning inside those walls so and now this was quite familiar for us to handle so we characterize the all wall as per uh, the sense of the site or the design or the requirement there so this is like a nostalgic nostalgia wall we were thinking because that was uh, along the water body and we were thinking to take all tourists to that uh, some era uh, this is like two uh, reception walls which incorporate uh, like many openings and many areas this is the entrance wall which is this is the south so all wind will come from that side so this we were calling wind wall also because you then you can see all this small openings from that side this is gathering wall because this is uh, along that wall main uh, entry and gathering uh, was happening in site plan so we were uh, characterizing with the gathering wall with that kind of characters so that is how that wall got designed like with curve and then there is a water body and then people can gather around with some opening for the wind this is one more wall which was dividing some unit uh, from the main campus so that they can uh, get the proper view in the valley because uh, we were representing that this wall with the fireflies we thought Uh, if we can use some different elements inside will be better and this is a pool wall which is on the swimming pool and this is one more uh, like uh, the wall along the mango orchards and this is a main site plan so you enter from here this is the area of parking then that's a dining uh, main in gathering space that's a reception like you come here to reception you come to the gathering space this is administration space and then from from this space 
you go to the to the various rooms and then to swimming pool and the other activities which was here which can which can be used to other plot holder also because uh, this whole campus we are having about 30 35 plots so this is the plan about the reception area so two gathering wall then with respect to uh, the requirement we just tilt it and then we bend it uh, as per or the need and then uh, it's like the connecting core to all the areas basically so we just make the openings accordingly and then from reception to gathering wall to dining space you can come like that this is the section like how it's flowing so below dining there is a kitchen here so this is a dining and then water body and then how it's going with the contour and that's how you enter with the so to dining is in multiple levels so that every like seat will get the view of the outside and the north light so that uh, they will get a proper light here in the daytime so kitchen is in the uh, lower level so that it's easy for them to come uh, there is a dumb waiter and everything so they can serve here and there is a deck here which is more close to water and uh, the lagoon is on this side so uh, to collect the water in the lagoon we have to manage all this uh, water catchment streams and everything that's how we manage through this courts and everything so so whatever the water will fall here will come to this court and then that will flow to the that uh, big lagoon that's the main entry that's how we enter here and then we added lot of different areas for as per the function of the resort which we were thinking the roof is in bamboo and whole so whatever uh, the stone we got from uh, uh, the excavation we did for that lagoon on top so we use that all stone in the whole uh, uh, resorts wall that all walls are done on the uh, in that stone only this is dining these are six uh, cottages like uh, as per contour and as per the privacy like how we were designing those cottages so two different cottages then in between area which is like uh, the connecting area and then how they will get a view with the privacy and then how that plan will come like with the toilets at the junction so that all drainage and uh, this uh, can happen from there and they will get their private balconies on this side valley side so minimum cutting and filling level we were trying to uh, build this whole cottages so we just make one wall so that we get a privacy for the uh, cottages then we just place that uh, st st structural frame on a counter balance principle and we just add the uh, weight on the back side so that it will stand there and then we added a lighter material on the cantilever part with the roof and that's how uh, the this cottages were built on the site small uh, representation of how we fuse that bottle wall with the whole tarangan concept so these are small nodes we created like if some few people is like they are in family they can sit there they can use that coat and all and uh, this valley has a, a lot of uh, fireflies so on that uh, fireflies we named the whole cottages as a tarangan and night time they can get uh, the view of all fireflies this is a access from uh, dining that uh, node 
towards the uh, swimming pool and these are some entry for entry points for the tarangan cottages and this is that corridor through which you connect to all tarangan units in between connected courts and uh, that's how the view you get in the valley so we did all this small small detailing also here for room number door handles the light and the ventilation system that's inside the balcony and that's how is projecting out inside the forest so we thought that's not enough to run the resort so we had four more uh, sweet cottages in that uh, mango orchard so that is what we are calling amrai so there were existing mango trees so we just made some kind of partition wall uh, along that mango orchard and then we got these four different spaces uh, with uh, different level uh, to accommodate that four different cottages we just link them with the passages and then 1 2 3 4 multi level cottages we built here so uh, and then every cottage has the private garden gazebo and that's a entry like how it is segregating from the main corridor from here when you enter from this uh, small pavilion uh, to this area that's a entry thing that's a cottages like how multi level cottages we built there so the uh, this roof is wood wool panel that will, i think that i will show you later this is a private garden this is cottage number 2 this is cottage number 3 all four cottages are uh, different as per the site situation context or the levels we got and then some details that's a swimming pool area so we just divide that swimming pool into two different part one is kid pool and one is a main pool and on the other side we did uh, the changing section which is below the level of swimming pool area and the terrace of that uh, changing section will get as a sun bathing area and that sun bathing chairs uh, we use as a light ventilation inside to that changing area so this is uh, chairs but you get light ventilation from that chair